So today I bring you an example for uh, continuous distillation column uh, design. So as you have seen in my previous video videos that uh, we have seen we have drive how we can determine the number of uh, uh, theoretical stages for a continuous distillation column. So here is one example. It says a continuous fractionation column operating at atmospheric pressure is to be designed to separate a mixture containing 35 mole percent of cyclopentane and the rest benzene into an overhead product containing 93 mole percent of cyclopentane and the bottom product of 97.3 mole percent benzene. So the feed is at its boiling point and the feed flow rate is at 100 kilomole per hour. There are different questions we can calculate, uh, we can determine from this basic information. So, for example, the first one is if the reflex ratio is 3, how many number of stages are required uh, for this specific operation? And the other is what will be the number of theoretical stages if Q is 1.2? And the other, what is the minimum number of stages for this operation? And the other is number of stages at total reflux. So first we can start doing the number one question. If the reflex ratio is 3, how many number of stages are required? So this is the simple representation of the distillation column. Here you have a feed. Uh, with 100 uh, kilomole per hour and it contains the more volatile component cyclopentane, 35%. Then you have here a distillate and uh, uh, reflux. LN amount is reflected back to the distillation column and here you have a bottom product. So the distillate XD, mole fraction of the cyclopentane is 0 0.93 and at the bottom it's 0 0.02. If the reflex ratio is 3, then you have to determine the number of stages. So the first thing is uh, you are going to use the market TL limited. So the assumption is there is a cumulative uh, flow through the tower. So the amount LN flowing through here is the same. The molar flow rate is the same. And also the vapor uh, flowing uh, through the distillation column is the molar flow rate is the same. So in this case, if you have 100 kilomole of feed, then if you do an overall material balance, that means this, this field will be equal to uh, D plus uh, W. Then, or if you are going to make a component balance, then this field times the mole fraction of cyclopentane, if the uh, balance is based on cyclopentane, then this equation will be uh, developed. So this will be F times the depth will be equal to D times XD plus W times XW. So in this case, uh, if you substitute all the numbers, which is a simple uh, material balance here, if you uh, substitute all the numbers, then you can determine the values of W. You can find the values of W to be 64.23 and the values of uh, the distillate uh, 35.77. So since uh, the reflex ratio given here is uh, 3, then the reflex ratio, which means the ratio of the uh, liquid reflexor to the distillate collected is 3. Then you can find the value of LN, which is the amount of liquid totally reflected back to the uh, distillation column will be distillate, uh, the distillate amount times 3. So in this case, LN, this value, LN will be uh, 107.3 kmol per hour. So since the feed is all liquid at its boiling point, so the, uh, in the question it says the feed enters at its boiling point. So in my previous video, the distillation column has the top part, which is the rectification column, and the bottom part, which is the stripping column. So this distilled liquid will run, will flow down to the uh, bottom. So here, the amount of liquid uh, present in the uh, stripping section will be, LM will be the sum of F entering here or the amount of the feed plus the amount of the LN, the, the reflexed liquid. So in this case, LM will be LM, which is the amount of liquid in the stripping section will be LN plus LF, and it will be 107.3 plus 100. Based on this value, so on the, for the top operating line, we say that this is the general equation. We In, the, in my previous video, we have seen how we uh, drive this equation. When you simplify this, you'll find that the mole fraction of the vapor is at any tray will be R over R plus 1 times Xn plus Xd over R1. 
so this will be the top operating line equation so when you substitute the values r here 3 and xd 0 0.93 then you will find y is equal to 0 0.75 x plus 0 0.232 so this is the top operating line. So if you have the VLE diagram of cyclopentane in benzene, the top operating line will pass through the points XD, XD, and have an intercept of XD over R1. So this top operating line is a straight line. The equation will be Y is equal to 0.75x plus 0.23. will pass through these points on the VLE diagram of this cyclopentane in benzene. And when you do a material balance on the stripping section, we say that the amount of liquid Lm is the summation of uh, the feed plus the, the reflected uh, liquid amount. So Lm will be 200.7.3, then Vm, the amount of vapor on the stripping section will have this much amount based on the material balance. Also, we have uh, come up with this equation for the bottom operating line where L bar means in this case lm the amount of the flow rate of the molar flow rate of the liquid on the stripping section and w is the bottom product so you will find that ym what in the stripping section will be this equation so this is the bottom operating line so when you draw this uh, equation on the vle diagram of cyclopentane and benzene this line will pass through the points xw xw and will have an intercept W over L minus W. This equation will pass through X W X W that is 0 0.027 and 0 0.027 and the intercept will be minus 0 0.012 or you can uh, use the slope. The slope will be 1.488. So you have to draw this equation on the VLE diagram. Diagram. This is the equilibrium diagram for uh, benzene and cyclopentane. And you can see uh, how I came up with this uh, VLE diagram on my previous video. So the boiling point for cyclopentane is 49.2 and boiling point for uh, benzene is 80. And based on the Antoine constant and the Antoine equations, equation, then you can determine the value for uh, mole fraction in the liquid and in the vapor phase. So you can draw this diagram. You can uh, look at the video I made. So here, so the top operating line, we said that the, the line passes through xd, xd, and intercept will be 0 0.232, and xd will be 0 0.93. These are the points here, 232, and xw, xw will be 0 0.027. 0 0.027 and also the other one point will be 0 and minus 0 0.012 yeah so when you draw the line each line this point it will be this is this series shows that it is xd 0 0.93 0 0.93 and this shows the intercept so if you find the intercept here and uh, xd xd yes you just have to draw the straight line here and this is the to bottom operating line so this is the bottom operating line here so the bottom operating line this point is uh, xw xw so from this you can see that the bottom and the top operating line intersect so this point is the the stage where uh, the feed uh, is entering. So this is the benzene cyclopentane uh, diagram. So this is the equilibrium line and this is the top operating line. The gray color is the top operating line and the yellow one is the bottom operating line. Based on Markep Till method, what you have to do is you have to draw a line starting from the point XD XD. This is the point XD XD or 0.93 so starting from this point the xd xd you have to draw a horizontal line until it touches the equilibrium line so this is the horizontal line so as soon as it touches the horizontal the equilibrium line equilibrium curve then you have to draw another one uh, 
starting from that point to uh, until it touched the operating line. So you continue doing uh, such kind of line on the equilibrium diagram in the top operating line. So here you can see that you can draw until. So here at the intersection point of the top operating and the bottom operating line, at this from this point on, it is the stripping section. So the operation will be the your line should be on the uh, bottom operating line. So here you do horizontal line which connect to the uh, equilibrium curve, the bottom operating line to determine the uh, number of stages. So here you just continue doing the same thing. Then at, at some point you will reach a point where the line, uh, this uh, stages of line will reach, will pass the bottom operating line. So at that point, that means the stage of the operation has ended already here the product is being withdrawn so at this point you have to stop your operation so the number of stage will be you have to count the number of stages that you draw on the equilibrium line so in this case you have one two three four five six seven eight nine almost ten number of uh, 10 number of stages will be uh, available if the uh, reflex ratio is 3. So this is the simple way to, of determining uh, simple way of determining the number of stages using uh, Markev till method. So to summarize, what you have to do is you have to determine the top and the bottom operating line. So to determine the top and the bottom operating line, you have to do some uh, material balance based on the given information from those uh, material balance you determine the equation for the top and the bottom operating line then from those then after you draw the top and bottom operating line on the equilibrium di diagram you just have to you start from the point xd xd and draw a horizontal line until i touch the uh, curve equilibrium curve then you go down operating line and continue doing the same thing until the point of intersection then after point of intersection between the top and bottom operating line you do the same thing but the bottom line has to touch the uh, bottom operating line the line will be you, you are going to use the bottom operating line from this point on so finally you can count the number of stage